Hello. This video was created by Ankar Telkikar, a staff information developer at BMC Software, and narrated by a computer-generated voice. In this video, we'll learn how to add a static image or an SVG image in Developer Studio for progressive views. As an example, we'll add a static image to a button and then add a mouse over effect for that image. We'll also add a background image to a panel and then set the position of that image within that panel. Let's log into Developer Studio and get started. First, I'll drag a button field to the form. I'll now add an image to the button. For this demo, I'll add it as an embedded image. To add a mouse over effect for this button, we must set the value for the display as flat image property to true. When you hover the mouse pointer over a button, the mouse over effect property specifies what shape the mouse pointer takes and whether the button is shown in the progressive view. The pointer cursor is the default value. When you select it, the mouse pointer takes the shape of a hand and the button is not shown. When you select none, the mouse pointer takes the shape of an arrow and the button is not shown. When you select button, the mouse pointer takes the shape of a hand and the button is shown. Let's select the button value. Let's now add a panel to the form. I'll then add a background image to the panel. For the background image to be visible in the progressive view, we must have at least one field added to the panel. So, let's add some fields to the panel. The background image property is available for each device type, namely desktop, mobile, and tablet. By using this property, you can set a different image for each device type. Let's select center as the horizontal position for this image. We're done. Let's now see how the button and panel look in the progressive view. We had set the value button for the mouse over effect property. Therefore, the mouse pointer takes the shape of a hand and the button is shown. Also, we had added the background image by using the background image property in the progressive desktop property group. We had set the value for the background image horizontal property to center. Therefore, the background image is displayed at the center of the panel. Did you notice that the panel height is calculated depending on the fields that were added to the panel? Thus, only that portion of the background image is visible where the fields are displayed. In this video, we have accomplished the following. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, see docs.bmc.com.